Hey, let me talk about Chill God first before I talk about Take a Day Off. Um, Chill God was something that I like created on some, like created a whole Elias or a whole other side of me. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to express me yeah. to people that wasn't familiar with Joe Kellum, but like knew Joe Kellum kind of. So I was like, all right. What else can I kind of like call myself? So I came up with Chill God, you know what I'm saying? Created my, created the Chill God, it's me. I'm living, cause all I do is chill, you know what I'm saying? We got the studio in here, it's the hot box, we be here smoked out, the company only. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, we did that, created Chill God. Then after Chill God, we did Living Single. I hooked up with uh, Roscoe Wiki. He's a great producer, great artist, you know what I'm saying? We hooked up, did a whole EP together, couple jams. It was hot. We dropped that. I was like, okay, people feel that. It was more like a radio sound, you know what I'm saying? It could be put on a radio. We could um, progress from that, really make money. I made money from that, did my thing with that, whatever. That's all I've done. So I wanted to work on more music because fucking that's all I do. I just sit in the studio over here. We just work on jams with my homies. We do their thing. I beat on them in Madden right. here and there when I'm done making songs. Maybe 2K, you know what I'm saying? Because PK is hard in 2K. PK is hard in 2K. I ain't going to lie, but I do beat him. So um, we did that. I did live in single. Then I did take a day off probably in like a week or two. You know what I'm saying? Mix the engineer by myself. I did all of that by myself, no help, no nothing. Like, I just sat in here, got drunk, got high, recorded on the fucking microphone, and made it sound hard as hell, because it blew up in like a couple of days. It's, it's booming on the internet, you feel me? Let's, let's, let's talk about this. Uh, these visuals that you got out, man. Like, the video? How, nah, the, the actual artwork. The actual artwork? Yeah, because for... each one of your joints have a different artwork. Okay, like, for Chill God, I got me sitting in the chair. Um, that came up because I got a, a photographer and a guy that I work with named Tom Larkin. Um, we had a studio down in the Strip District. I had my own floor. It was the fifth floor building at the studio across from the Ultra Bar. And um, we just we shot that. That was just supposed to be a regular picture. It wasn't even supposed to be my cover, but it ended up being my cover. Yeah. And then that's how that visual came. And then for the living single, we went. We wanted to base it off of the chill god. Yeah. So I sat in a chair and I had this fat girl feeding me chicken nuggets. <laughs> And that just symbolizes living single. I'm living single. I do whatever the hell I want to do. You feel what I'm saying? No matter if, like. How did you find the fat girl? Because I saw I it on her. Facebook. We were cool. We were but cool. you put a post on Facebook like, yo, if I get, if y'all throw. Yeah, I put the put, post on Facebook. Put like, the titties out. I'll put you on the cover. Yeah. But then I, then I was talking to Tom. We yeah. talked. We had a few discussions, you feel me, about what the cover should be. So we wanted something that could like shock the shock the real pretty much. Yeah. Not just Pittsburgh. So we was like, let's do something different. We don't want no bad bitches just on the cover. We don't want regular girls that just look cute or whatever, like that everyone has. That's too easy. Yeah. Let's get a bigger girl feeding me chicken nuggets. So we said, okay, is that possible? Yeah, it's possible when you're the chill guy. So we said, okay, <laughs> we're gonna grab the her because we knew her from before. She wanted to get in the video. I told her, no, you're gonna get in the picture. So she got in the picture. We took the picture and then we did that. And then for take a day off, I saw a picture of um, ASAP Yams. Rest in peace, ASAP Yams. I like the whole ASAP movement. Yeah. Um, I said I want to do something like that. I said I want to do something like this ASAP Yams picture because they did a somebody a cool graphic artist that I know. I'm not sure. I saw it on Instagram. They um did a cool picture of ASAP Yams and I was like, yo, this shit is tight. I was like, let me fucking symbolize that and represent that and do my own thing with the chill guy shit. So I put a picture of me with my grill on, like I usually be rocking, but I'm trying to talk to y'all right, so I ain't trying to be here all grilled out all stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling. And then that was cool. And then we did that for that cover. And I'm just the covers, like all my covers have meaning, you know what I'm saying, for sure. They all have some artistic background. So that's how we rockin' with the artistic movement. So what